Hi guys, um, this is going to be a series where I pretty much start building my own PC. I've got all the components just now and I'm going to run you guys through of how to set it up and um, get things running. But firstly I wanted to start off with this video where we have our keyboard and my mouse and I'm going to show you what I've upgraded them to. I've been a Mac user most of my life. Uh, I've got a MacBook Pro, I've got my Mac keyboard and I've got my um, trackpad as well. And I just want to show you uh, the upgrades that I've made. Obviously, I've always been a Mac user and I've had this keyboard for quite a long time now. Same along with this trackpad and it's come handy but due to the changes with the PC I thought I'd um, change it up a bit so I'm going to quickly do an unboxing with you of my new Corsair Air setup and just run you through how to um, set it up and some of the issues I had going along with it as well. So let's get these out of the way. Let's start off with the mouse. So we have the Corsa Air Glaive RGB. Um, and let's quickly do an unboxing and see what there is inside. And we have to take this off. Oh, it opens up quite nicely. Take this off, that there. Instruction manual. Don't need that. Get this out of the way. That's what we have so far. Um, decent packaging so far, actually. Let's open this. Oh, on the top. Oh, that's nice. That's smart. Oh, that comes pretty nicely. Oh, what is this? We we'll start off with a pouch of some sort. Oh, the side pads for the mouse itself. I think that's that's a preference if you want to add those in. We'll clean it up a bit. We'll put this aside. That's what we have so far. Are these two components over here? And then this the this the beauty right here. Let's get everything out of the way. This is it. Oh. Some more plastic over here. Ah, oh, it's not satisfying. So far, that is very beautiful actually. It's my first time going to like a proper gaming gaming mouse. Oh, there's a nice little clicks. Not much sound in the in the cursor as well. And it's got side buttons as well over here. And I think you can add these components somewhere and I'll try to figure it out and do it afterwards. I'll show you what it looks like afterwards. But so far it's good. It's an RGB as well, so I think you can change it on the IQ software uh, that Corsair Air um, give you on their website. You can download it. So this is the Corsair Air keyboard. I got this off the Scan website. Um, I'll put the link in the description below. Um, but this is a refurbished um, keyboard and I got it for pretty much half the price and to be honest with most of these refurbished uh, pieces scan are actually certified with course air keyboards as well so components in general actually so let's open this up and see how what it looks like inside oh okay so we can take the keyboard out let's get rid of this box problem I have with this straight off the bat is it's a very thick cable and I understand if you have a really good um, cable management you can you can do this really well but it's quite thick and it's quite heavy actually so I need to figure out a way to put these somewhere. Inside the box you're also given uh, an armrest over here which pretty much just fits in to the back of this keyboard right, let me show you into these slots over here. And another thing I like about this keyboard is it has quite a lot of adjustments for your height. It has two down here, right? And it has two up here as well. So you've got quite a bit of flexibility in, in raising up the keyboard as well. So let's put those down for now. So the way to get this uh, armrest on the back of this keyboard is by lifting it up a tiny bit, placing it into the location, lifting it up. And that's that. So you can rest your arms on it and type away. 
And to be honest, that's a massive change and size difference from my Mac. Um, a really big issue that I had, first of all, was that the keyboard actually didn't show up in my devices over here. Uh, and I'm gonna pretty much show you a quick video of how I actually fixed that and, and got that working for me. So what I did was, I clicked on software, IQ comes up, go over here and check for updates. That's the first thing that you wanna do. Once you've done the update, it will, it will register it to the, the, the latest software. If that still doesn't work for you, you wanna come over to your applications, whatever applications that you have, ba -ba -ba, applications over there, and you wanna to go to this Corsair Air folder over here. Once you go in there, you'll see the IQ app itself and an uninstaller. So what you wanna do is you wanna go and uninstall, click on that, and it gives you two setups, uh, settings over here, uninstall or clean up. And the first thing you wanna do, you actually wanna hit clean up, All right? Type in your password. So the main point in that cleanup is to actually just update it to the latest version. The actual software needs to have the correct version of the keyboard that you're working with. And as you can see over here, this is where you initially went to download your software. And if you scroll a bit, tiny bit further down, you can see the compatibility charts. So based on the keyboard that you have, um, so say for instance, ours is a K70, right? RGB. So we need to have a 3.08 version. And for our mice, which is a Glaive RGB, we need to have a 3.14. So, so just make sure by going in the settings that you have those correct versions. Hopefully that helps. Um, to be honest, I, I, it did take me quite a long time to go through the YouTube videos and stuff and try to find one that would fix my solution of trying to use a Corsair Air setup on a MacBook. Um, I managed to get it working in the end. <laughs> so hopefully that helps you guys as well. So let me go through the different um, lighting setups that you can actually get on a Corsair Air K70, right? So the first one is the Spiral Rainbow, the one that we have at the moment. Then we can go into the Rainbow Wave. Another is the Color Shift. <clears throat> Next one is the Color Pulse. Next one is the Color Wave. Visor, to be honest, that's a bit distracting, Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, next one is the rain. This is actually quite my favorite, just to like show off, to be honest. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, after that, we've got the type lighting. This is my favorite, actually. Oh, that is lovely. Check it out. Boom, boom, boom. boom. So the last thing that we're trying to do is trying to connect our um, mouse to the IQ software, but it doesn't detect it. The settings tab, go to the settings tab and we check our firmware. Our firmware says that it's three, version uh, 3.08 and that's exactly what we should be having. So that's fine. <clears throat> that's where our keyboard is detected. But if we go and have a look at the Glaive RGB, which is up here, it's the one I've got, it's got a version of 3.14, right? And the mouse currently, when it's um, when you actually buy it, it's got um, the versions below. So in order to get around this, you actually need a Windows PC. So you first need to go onto a Windows PC, update it to 3.14, and then it will work on your Mac. Once you do that, you can then get it working on your, on your Mac, and it should show up over here. Hope that helps.